painted graphic effects look brilliant and they're really easy to achieve. And you don't need a lot of expensive stuff to get great results either. For the headboard graphic, measure and mark the height and width on the wall. Cut a long piece of string, tie a knot in one end and run the string over a stick of coloured chalk. Line up the knotted end to one of the top corners and pull it tight to meet the other, then snap. To get a straight vertical line either side, you need to weight the chalked string. Pull it tight and snap again. Use low tack masking tape and follow the chalked lines to create a double border. Load the small roller with paint and then make sure it's not too wet by rolling it out onto some paper first. Carefully fill in the lines and remove the tape. And if any paint has crept underneath, mask over the line and use some of the background wall colour on a bit of sponge to cover it up. For the grid effect, just like the headboard, you need to measure the height and width of the area you're painting and snap lines across the top and sides. Mark the height and width of each square and then use the chalked string to snap a grid pattern that you can follow with low tack tape. Load the string with more chalk as you go. Stick low tack masking tape just above and below the chalked line to leave around a 5mm gap. Fill the horizontal stripes in first and use a small piece of foam with just a little bit of paint on it and simply wipe it along the line to colour it. If there's too much paint on the sponge, it'll bleed under the edges. Finish off with the vertical stripes and then stand back and admire your brilliant work. Simple, beautiful, clever stuff. <laughs>